My name is Randall Fitzgerald. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for ProLiant. ProLiant will be able to reach more customers who are having a facility in New Zealand. There are certain markets that are closed to U.S. bovine-based products. New Zealand, with its extensive history of pristine animal agriculture, uh, opens up some of those markets to us. It also provides another benefit for us in that it provides us a second facility which provides business continuity for our customers. If we'd have a catastrophic event at one of our facilities, the other one would be able to fulfill the needs of our customers. We chose New Zealand after a number of years of research. We knew we wanted to have a presence in Oceania, either Australia or New Zealand. And looking around, we, uh, we found that the culture and the environment of New Zealand was very conducive to working with. Very business friendly, being an agricultural state of country, it really mirrored what our state is, is an agricultural based state. So there were a lot of similarities, a lot of comfort factors. Uh, we had the skill set we needed here, and we had the raw material availability we needed. One of the really nice things about uh, coming to this area of New Zealand, and New Zealand in general, is the fact that the quality of people we were able to find to support our operations was incredible. One of the people that you'll see on this video is uh, Paul Lewis, who we found and was our first hire as our general manager. Uh, we formed a team around that with very competent technical people and very hardworking people. I've been extremely pleased with all the personnel we've been able to find to help work our operation. My name is Paul Lewis and I'm the general manager of ProLiant New Zealand. With regards to the building itself, uh, inside under the, the roof space we've probably used something in the vicinity of 55 to 60 percent of available space to make these two proteins. So we clearly have a large amount of floor area left for expansion and that's the next phase over the next 12 to 24 months is to bring those products into the factory and that then will, will include more staff um, and that'll be hopefully the high, more higher tech products as well. So I think this will be an expansion that will continue for the next you know, 12 through to maybe even 48 months to really add some value to some of the byproducts coming out of the, out of the meat industry. I guess from, from my point of view personally, it's all about a, a celebration of we've got uh, you know, on staff maybe 15 at the moment who have slept and breathed this thing for the last 24 months. We've had numerous sleepless nights emailing each other and I think it's a celebration of those people who have truly poured their life into it. And on top of that we've had you know, 40 to 50 contractors who have helped us build the plant and install the kit. And I think it's a true reflection of those people's dedication that got this on time and on budget. So I think it's very important that we now celebrate that publicly because the style of people we've had here has been very low key, there's been no high fiving and, and chest bumping. It has been simply head down, bum up and get the job done and I believe they now need to be publicly thanked.